Welcome to Goyo's Garden and Tie Dyes. I'm Greg. All right. Today we will be doing a Gildan Large. The shirt has been soaked in soda ash for at least 20 minutes or longer. And uh, I'm just going to give it a quick fold in half here. Nothing too special. I'm just going to do a little scrunch on it. You want to be as close as you can, but I'm not going to tuck in the sleeves or nothing on this one. Uh, I'll be doing hot water irrigation on it. And you can start your scrunch from top, bottom, side, wherever you want. And try to work it around a little differently and not big long lines in it. And when you're putting on the rubber bands, be really careful with scrunches, they want to fold in half. So I always release the rubber band gently and pretty much squish it in at the same time. So uh, it doesn't fold up on me. Boy, when you're editing this, uh, you see all kinds of things like, there's part of that, I don't like to scrunch on it. But, it should turn out. Yeah, I need to break out, out a new uh, bag of rubber bands. A lot of them are getting worn out because of the hot water irrigation. But, if you do it a couple times, they're nice and loose then if you can use them for things exactly like this where they're not too tight and I got one more and that should call it good all right now we're gonna put on some dye first color we're doing is uh, sea glass more favorite colors. Next, we'll be doing uh, bright green. I use uh, eight ounce bottles with a quarter cup soda ash and three teaspoons of uh, dye. I was using two but I wanted a little bit brighter. And that was still uh, bright green where I was applying there. Yeah, especially with the hot water, it kind of breaks the dye down, so. And this is lime pop. start spraying it with hot water here in a second. I add cheesecloth. It helps splatter on the shirt itself and keeps splatter from going everywhere else. Like on me or something else I might have close by. Because it does splatter. And the hot water should be around 160 is what they say. I just had a new uh, water heater installed and it's right around there. I had him turn it up. Just think about getting one of those little electric ones that stick out here by the workshop. Save on more trips upstairs. See how I have the panda now, that'll be one less trip I have to go. Add a little bit more uh, dye onto it. But like I said, I want a really uh, bright outcome on this. I 
So I'm just repeating my colors. From this thing, you really can't tell, but if you look at it straight from the top, you can see where it's a little darker in the lighter spots. And you can flip it over too if you want and do the other side. It won't hurt it. In fact, it will help both sides be nice and bright. But unfortunately, on this one, I didn't do that, just one side. Start off with a nozzle about a foot or so away from it, which helps on the splatter also. And then you just work your way down into it. Helps push another die through. Quick check on the bottom. And I think we're gonna call that good. All right. Nice bright green and lime pop. I like the way this one came out. I don't do too many greens. Definitely like the front. So I should have turned it over and did both sides. Well, next time. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If uh, you like it, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Once again, thank you. And I'll see you next time.